Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Strategic Command. We're playing the American Civil War. Let's uh, continue on in Maryland and Virginia, I suppose. Um, we took Annapolis, but these guys are in a bit of a tough spot. Try to deal with it like that. Um, pork tobacco is nice, but uh, currently struggling like this, I can't really uh, do anything there. Obviously. Anyway, um, I don't really feel like spending the MPPs for Lee right now. Yeah, I don't see the. Uh, enemy doing anything weird here okay um anyway that's that those stacks aren't even good okay I'm gonna put two of the core in here and I have to say I'm struggling here too so I'm gonna put another core and two divisions at Nashville if there is, is if there is anything I don't want it's losing Nashville Set mode manual. They can take a bunch of these guys and start moving up because that's uh, what they have there is a problem. Wow. So I can also only pray that they'll survive. Um, Try to block it a little bit like this, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Didn't help too much. They already attacked. But I, I think they can use a little bit of rest here and up upgrading and stuff, so. Um, but I also kind of need to move back here. Um, let's go here. No. My only hope is that they'll retreat, basically, but we'll see. I just really uh, don't want the AI to start getting into Tennessee. I don't even know whether this unit does count towards the units close to Nashville. I mean, it's, it's an ironclad. There's very little I can do. Well, maybe next turn I can destroy it, I suppose. But... It would be nice if I could get a break from these bad rolls and actually destroy the enemy. 
Nope, it's just only bad, bad, bad. Okay, well, tough luck. Um, let's just reinforce. Yeah, not much to do there. Okay, never mind then. Only bad, bad, bad. to do I suppose about that um, let's see though because reinforcing you definitely not attacking there beans pretty much just holding the line They just got there, they already attacked, I'll remove with most of these. Oh, didn't spend my points. I think I did do the diplomacy already. Yeah. My research, I'm, I believe, at the max. Yep. That's all the divisions. Cavalry at this point. I'm not sure why. Oh, I can purchase just that. I don't have any upgrades. I'll go for a siege artillery though. And once again, the British actually cannot purchase anything. Right. They're at 41, eh? They're going down fast. Union Spirit Falls, Annapolis, Fort Monroe. <laughs> Seems like they didn't like that. Ah, the attack is repulsed with heavy losses. That sucks. Cavalry equipment, spying and intelligence. Means I can invest uh, again more. Ooh, that's a lot. Damn. Juicy. I'm getting to the point where I actually might not want to have the British have their exports go to the CSA because I don't have that much to buy anymore. As crazy as that sounds. Okay, seems like because of their losses up here, they want to put some new units there. Fair enough. That can only benefit me. <laughs> Back to 10. They can move those gunboats boats as much as they want, I suppose. Um, I guess they have plenty of units still, though, even here. Okay, you retreat. 
No. Hmm. I'm not actually that happy with that contact. Oh, no losses. This is actually good because it gives me an opportunity to take that city. It's very unlikely, but you never know. It's interesting they're really guarding the uh, road to there. I don't think they have that good of a supply there. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess they occupy the Eastern Shore. A lot of parties were uh, on my side. I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, um, let's start up here. They do have some supply, but because of that core, they can't rightfully move anywhere else. In any sense, I can technically take this city um, and then kind of move back. It doesn't seem like the AI is all that keen on transporting units and such. Thank you. Lancaster is taken. Very good. Now I can repair those mar or fix up those marines. Uh, I'm not happy, but I need to cut off their railroad. Um, basically, by doing this, I'm cutting off. Uh, the rest of Maine from any transportation so in a certain sense uh, well I don't want to say it's ripe for the taking but sweet that's really nice Ooh. All right. I can totally see the AI constantly trying to replace stuff there. Um, Hopefully they don't retreat, and now I can finish them off. Yes. Okay, that's the last unit here. And Burlington gives a reasonable supply, so I can actually get the HQ in here, fix these two up next turn, and I can focus on Montpellier and Rutland. Technically, 
if I move down with these, that would cut them off here. Which is an interesting idea. Another four bites of dust. And with it, the Union Fine Spirit should continue to falter. Well, uh, the British are putting in overwork, actually. Um, and I, I really think that what's happening here is destroying so many enemy units. Like, already now I have one core, two core, three core down again. Um, it really does allow me... to improve my uh, my position in the CSA because otherwise they would just overwhelm me but because the uh, British are putting so much pressure on them on the in the north it's uh, actually going pretty well uh, hello that's uh, wow That's something. I definitely want to go after that. Any naval units that I get to destroy, yeah, it's pretty decent. Alright, out for the hunt. In case of units like this, I'll just uh, move them along the line so they can at least continue raiding while I'm going after those ships. Exactly what I'm doing. Just for purposes of not making me forget, I want to go to convoy map. Um, I have to keep clicking this. Can't just put it to zero. Just keep going. Keep going, man. All right. I think the. Um, British at this point would be better off getting it themselves um, because we've already built uh, I mean I'm not getting any units now but I've already built all the divisions I can all the core I can all the mound divisions the rangers the marines so I'm pretty much good in terms of uh, prestige I think or MPP it's not prestige What am I saying? Okay, so I guess they can parade in that area for a bit, but nothing particularly interesting there. Okay, these guys definitely need to uh, need to repair, but I'm happy to destroy another core here. 
All right, all right. Fix you up. Okay. Reinforce those. I mean, first off, I need to defend the real unit. I think this way they'll still survive. There are not that many enemy units in the area. So if I cut them off too. And. I mean, they can then go into Hopkinsville, fair enough. But they don't get supplies. So I can then kill that, co or that division on the next turn. rest of these are just gonna stay in their position since it's a it's a stalemate with these additional forces now though I hope to at least push them back to the Ohio and Kentucky on this side and then continue along further oh you can get in there oh yes after all why, why wouldn't I nope. Eight, eight, seven, six. They need to have six. If they want to move in there, that's fine. I don't really care. Uh, I'd rather have these guys back up to ten. Okay. Deal the damage. Move back. They get a few too many units for my taste. Let's just fix them up a little bit. There's not that much else I can do there. Um, problem actually being that the supply is just not not good. Can I actually upgrade you to cavalry for cavalry equipment? All right, let's do that. I will delay the cavalry for a turn, but um, increasing their attack values I think is a pretty good deal. Okay, let's see what I can do. Ultimately, I need to try and take Socorro. Okay, so just straight up not happening. Oh, they have supplies. Yes, I didn't lose the unit. Okay, so... Um, with that done, I don't need to hold Valencia. Technically, EMS gives zero points. But it cuts off potentially this unit. I don't know how much supply they're gonna get. Eight.
Yeah, that that's happening. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we took our stuff there. Okay, Lee. Set mode manual. These guys will take at least uh, one to two turns. Before they get to do anything. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look here. So if they don't retreat. There's the option to kill them. Put you up to the river. Reinforce. <laughs> Which makes it a little bit safer there. Once again. Actually, take down the brigade. Of course, as it is, that that doesn't seem like much, but I think it is. Ah, crap. This is tricky because my units here are already quite weak. But I think. Yep, that's an enemy contact. Oh, there's no attack anyway. It yeah, it's still worth it, I think. No, 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 no. No, no, I don't. Obviously, I did not want to put it in there. I don't know why it moved in there. I didn't click there. <laughs> Frustration everywhere. All right. My line is weak. Uh, I just hope they retreat. Fuck. Stupid misclick. Hmm. Still, I think... Besides that misclick, it didn't actually go that poorly. Eight, seven, six. They don't seem to put anything from there. I'll move these guys back so I can re upgrade them and stuff. Nope. Killing this would be a miracle, but I am trying. Yes, but I'd give that up indeed. Ooh, I don't even have to give it up, man. This turn keeps getting better and better. Sure. Destroyed like eight core this turn. That must be tough to replace. Let's take a look at the research, so. to let's start with beefing up that amphibious warfare now so 300 decrease the cost of rail movement and mark units into all types of transport 10% we also increase the build limit of transport by 2 
Any action points are transports and armored trains by one. Level of logistics tax to go to minimum supply special rankings. Eh. Let's do that. And then I have a hundred. Yeah, I'm gonna go for skirmishers. Really messed that up, but purchase cavalry. likely be it so I cannot declare war on them Can declare war in the Union? I haven't declared war in the Union. <laughs> the situation really sucks, but... Uh... Uh, production level two. Oh. Okay, so indeed they just keep their three... 28 now, which means that I can actually build more core uh, for the British, which would be really nice. <laughs> Spanish reaches 32, I. That's fine. Doesn't do much, but. Ooh. Okay, they, they got me. Whenever they move their units around, it's always a bit weird. I mean, I'm sure they need those units somewhere else. Please retreat. They're not gonna retreat. Yeah, that's the best misclick of my life. Say, I'm not so sure that's a good idea, but if they have a new core, I, I guess in a sense it is. Will you retreat? was not a good idea last time and now they're, they're trying it again I get that they have another unit and uh, they cut them off okay Ugh.
Seems like they're getting real feisty, and, and I'm not too happy about it, actually. I mean, like I said, I destroyed eight of their core, but they don't really seem to mind. Or it's not core, it's divisions. How would they get a unit in there now? They don't. Hmm. I'm actually surprised that that unit moved. I actually did not expect that because I thought they'd be ordered to stay in the city. Um, and I pretty much just acted based on that. not quite sure what would have happened to my unit if I had gone in there. Militia Act of 862 permits African Americans to begin serving in the Union Army. Apaches flee into the hills of New Mexico following the occupation of Fort Bowie. Yeah, okay. I mean, like I said, I don't know what would have happened if I had my unit on there. Really? But I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap things up. <laughs> 26. Um, so I want to thank you all for watching. They must have a few units there at least. Hmm. I can also take Whitehall, which is pretty nice. Oh, luckily I can I can put them there. Um, the AI pretty aggressive. Seems like they got that brigade. Um, they must have a lot of units in there. Strangely enough. Yeah, okay. Um, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.